Good morning, how are you? How are you doing my best kids? It's me, Morat Sultan, the math teacher. Today we will, let's say, see how can you transform uh, shapes, okay? Using translation, reflection, rotation, and enlargement, or dilatation, okay? So, we start. So, the title of this is transformation, okay? Transformation. So let's recognize first and rename the given transformation. The original shape, this one, is, is a square. Okay? Okay. And the image of this is labeled as A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay. Now we we'll see which transformation that maps that maps this shape to its image. Okay. So we can say that the original shape is labeled with capital letters A. B, C, and D. Okay? And the next, which is the image, is labeled as what? As A dash, or A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay. So, a translation, in fact, is a slide. Meaning that we move the shape, okay, to another to a fixed distance, okay? For example, this one. I will try to find the vector, the current vector of this translation. Look, one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, okay? Four unit. This is four. This see the value of x, meaning that this point moves four units in the direction of x, okay? This is x, my kids. In direction of x and let's see how many units in the direction of y it is upwards or downwards okay then we continue look one square two square three square okay this is three but there is a negative sign why because the point b moves four units to the right in the direction of x and three units down in the direction of y okay of y okay then, we can choose another point, my kids. For example, this point, C. So, one, one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit. Okay, and down how many units? One, two, three. Okay? So, what is the translation? What is the vector of translation? I will, I will label it as V of coordinates what? Of coordinates, four units to the right in the direction of x, and negative three units, and three units down in the direction of y. Okay. The next. So we call that translation or a slide means slides or moves or transforms. Okay, on an object a fixed distance. Okay. A fixed distance in a given direction. For example, this one, we keep the same distance, okay? Then we keep also the same direction, then we move down, okay? Each point of the first object should move, let's say, four units to the right and three down. Whatever be the point of the first object should move, four unit, yes, four unit to the right and down three units in the direction of y okay so we can now at least if it is given the original object and its image have the same one what about the size of this one is it the same size of the, the image of course yes okay the size of the original shape is has the same size of its image then what about the uh, uh, the uh, original
orientation also have the same orientation okay the image of this is is, is like that exactly no change okay and it has the same orientation and also same translation vector between them okay any point of the first shape okay of the, of the original triangle should move three units down and four units to the right okay so i can write i can let's say express my vector of translation or the translation of the vector i will write translation of for a unit for a unit for a unit okay to the right and three units three units down or we can also express it as translation of what of the vector v okay equal four means each point of the triangle should move four units okay to the right in the direction of x okay and the next one represent or means that each point of this triangle a b c should move four units to the right in the in the x direction and three units down in the y direction so the image of a is a prime the image of b my kids is b prime and the image of C is C prime. So this is, if we'd like to express it, this is a trans translation that maps triangle ABC onto the triangle A dash or A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay. Then, or now if we'd like to map this translation, each point, the translation of each point max to x x is what is the vector x x is the x the new x coordinates of the uh, image so i'll make x plus four then y equal three or tv translation of the vector v is x plus four y minus three okay for example what is the coordinates my kids of a is negative three two negative 3, 2, ok now you will put x equal negative 3, so negative 3 plus 4 this is equal and y is 2 minus 3 equal what my kids? negative 3 plus 4 is 1 and 2 minus 3 is negative 1 look at the coordinates of the point A prime this is 0, this is 1, so x equal 1, this is 1, and here minus 1, so the coordinates of the image, okay, after translation, it will be 1, x equal 1, and y equal negative 1, any point, okay, the next, so here the triangle AB, ABC slides 5 units, my kids, 5 a unit left, Okay, means I mean its point should move be like that. Then in the in the x direction and two units down means what down means you will move two squares down in the y direction and you should label this new triangle of the image of A B C as a prime B prime C prime. This example shows how each vertex moves the same distance in the same direction okay let's do the first one what is my what is my column column vector we call five units to the left and two units down in the y direction this is v okay means the translation vector okay each point my kids should move Five units to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then two units down. One, two. So this one, my kids, this point is B, B prime. Then A also it moves how many units in the x direction? Five units to the left. So three. Then this is two. Then down. Now it will be here. So this is A prime. Then C prime. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, and how many? And 2 dash. Okay. This is my case, C dash. Okay, now I will try to join the points to get what? To get my new triangle. Okay? I label it as A. A, B, C, A, prime, B prime, C prime. Okay? The next. Here we can also use GeoGebra. You can use GeoGebra. Okay? And use the position vector to draw this, the image of this triangle. In this example above, okay, the slice or the translation moves the figure five units where? To the left. And two units where? Down. Of course, to the y, the second one to the y in the y direction. So the vector of translation is negative five, negative two. Okay. We can, let's say, now map the translation T. Okay, it's written with a red color. T is means translation. Translation. Okay. Translation. Okay. You can see this point. For example, A moves how many? Five units to the right, to the left, and two units down. This is A dash. This is my kids, A dash. And the second one also, B moves five units to the left and two down. This is my kids, is B dash or B prime. This is C prime. You can see that the translation keeps the same shape, the same size, and is with the same distance. Okay? So, if you would like to map this translation, the translation of any point of coordinates x, y maps to x negative 5. Why I make here negative 5 by this? Because the common vector is what? The common vector is v is equal to negative 5, negative 2. Okay? So, and so I made what? x minus 5. Then the next one I make y. Y minus 2 in order to get the, new, the, the coordinates of the new point after translation. So, translation of the vector V is translation of what? Of the point of the vector, of the common vector XY, maps to X negative 5 and Y negative 2. Okay? This is the last answer. How can you map? Let's say translation and now the image of the original shape. Okay. Hey my kids, we have let's say a polygon with four sides. Okay? Labeled what? A, B, C, D. Okay. Now we want to find, let's say, the coordinates of A, B, C, D. Okay, let's do this. The coordinates of A is what? Before translation. Is this is zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, negative three, negative three. Okay, and what is the y coordinates? Is two. So the first point a of coordinates negative three, two, and c, my kids, c is negative six and negative 6 and the y coordinates is 3. Okay, we'll write here 3. Then, for d, my kids, we have, for d, we have what? Negative 5, then what else? Negative 5 and 2. Okay. Then for b, my kids, the coordinates of b is negative 5 on the x-axis and the y value is 0. Okay, now we move to the image. We move to what? To the image, my kids. What is the coordinates of H? Is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, so y equal negative 4. Okay, and, and x equal negative 1. Okay, then for E, for example, E is negative. 0, negative 1, negative 2. So, negative 2. 
and the y is 0. Then for g of coordinates 1, okay, and the yes, and the y coordinates is negative. So y negative 2. And the last one, my kids, is what? Is negative 1 and negative 2. Okay? Negative 1. Okay. Negative 1, we call. Negative 1. And F. Negative 1, negative 2. Okay. Now I around the coordinates of this pole. Okay. So, A of coordinates what, my kids? Negative 3, negative 3, and 2. Then, G of coordinates negative 6, negative 6, and what? And 3. Okay. For B, B is negative 5, 0. Negative 5, 0. And okay, this one I can write this first. After the good. Okay. So then C. C has the coordinates of C has the coordinates of negative sixteen. Negative negative six. Three. Okay, and D has coordinates of negative five, two. Negative five, two. Okay. Okay, this is the coordinates of what, my kids? Of the original shape before translation. Before what? Before translation. We will try to find the image, the coordinates of the image after translation. Okay, so the coordinates negative 3, 2, it becomes after translation 1. So A corres corresponds to what? To G is 1, negative 2. Is 1, negative 2. This one, my kids. Is 1, negative, is this one. Okay? Then, for H, what is H? Has coordinates of negative 1, negative 4. Negative 1, negative 4 x equal negative 1, y equal negative 4. And for e, what is e? This is e, my kids, is negative 2, 0. Negative, negative 2, 0. Okay, and for f, the last one, is negative 1, negative. Negative 1, negative 2. Okay. Now, my kids, we will try to find the translation of the vector, okay? Find translation of the vector, okay? Means the vector of translation is what? Okay? Is what, my kids? Okay, we can use another color. Okay, we just raise this one. Okay, good. Good boy. So, I will start from where, my kids? From, for example, from C. Uh, where is C? The image of this is this. So, one, two, one, two, three, then four, then, so four units. Four units. Okay. Uh, this. Okay, we go. I will move four units, one units, two, three, four in the x direction. I will write here what my kids four units. Then how many downwards? One, two, three, also four, but in the y direction. In the y direction, okay? In the y direction. I will write what here? Negative, negative. Negative four. Negative four. So the, 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 the original shape. 
A, B, C, D. Move us. How many? Move us. Four units in that direction to the right and four units down. Okay? To the y direction. Okay? So, yes, so just four, negative four. Okay? Four, negative four. Four, negative four. Okay. I will write out my kids. Four, negative four. Why? Because each point moves. Yes? Moves, negative four. Okay. This is common. So, let's check. I will check this one, my kids. I will start from this point. And I will use the vector of translation. Shall I, shall I find the same answer after translation? Yes or no? So negative 3, my kids. This is negative 3, isn't it? Negative 3 plus 4 gives what? Gives 4 minus 3 gives 1. Very good. This is 1, my kids. Then 2, the next one, the y coordinates 2 minus minus 4. Is it minus 2? Of course, yes. Okay, then we continue. So here we, uh, we did it. Okay, the point A of coordinates negative 3, 2. After let's say the translation of the vector V of coordinates, which is equal to 4, negative 4. Okay, so we make negative 3 my x plus 4 gives 1. Then 2 plus negative 4 gives negative 2 the next point for example we move to this negative 6 plus 4 gives negative 2 and 3 plus negative 4 gives negative 1 and so on okay that is how to work out the vectors the uh, how to translate Shapes using let's say color vector that is given, okay, or using uh, finding out from the data. Here we move to rotation, okay. So, rotation is what in fact? If we try to rotate the shape, you will rotate either 90 degree or yes, 270 degree or 180 degree or 360 degree and so on okay you can rotate 30 degree you can rotate for example 60 degree and so on okay so rotation is in fact a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point it's called the center of what of the rotation either clockwise or or what or anti-clockwise okay so Clockwise means this direction. Okay? And clockwise, anti clockwise, you can write anti and clockwise. Okay? And clockwise. Then, the degree of rotation sh should be given. Okay? Don't forget. And in order to shape an easy rotation elements, has what? Has the same size and should also have the same shape and should also have the same orientation. Okay, so now we have a triangle A, B, A, B, C, the green one. I want to transform it, okay, either using, of course, rotation. Where is the center? The center, this is the center my kids is okay. This is x axis is negative 2, 0. Okay, now I fix it the center. This is the center my kids. Okay, the center of rotation. Center of rotation. Meaning that this shape, the horizontal shape, will rotate 180 degrees about this center. Okay? So we told that <coughs> rotation keeps the same distance. 
For example, the length of the line segment AB should be the same. The length of the line segment, uh, for example, A, A prime, B prime. The length of CB should be the same as the length of C prime, B prime. Okay, means this one should be equal to this. And this one should be equal to this one. Okay, and the last third length should be equal. So rotation keeps distance, the same distance, the same size, the same shape. Okay. <clears throat> and look, the see the center. We draw a line from this vertices, from this vertex C that passes through the center. Then I what? I calculated or I measured the same distance from the center. I will label as O my kids. Okay, means the distance OC should be equal to OC prime. Then the same for this one. If I'm gonna go, draw the image of A through the rotation about the center negative to zero and 180 degree. So I should, let's say, measure the line, the segment line OOA, okay? And I will measure the same distance from O a prime, okay, means this one, my guess, is should be equal to this one, okay? Then, this one should be equal to this one. Then, if you'd like to draw the, the image of B, okay, uh, through the, the, the rotation, about the center, negative 2, 0, and 180 degree. So, look at the distance, OB, is it the same as OB prime? Of course, yes. Okay, we can say that this is what? Rotation? Yes? Rotation. Okay. Rotation. Okay, very good. This is one mark. If you write, write only rotation in the exam, one mark. If it is the question out of two marks, we we'll cut half for the center and half for the number of degree of uh, angles. Okay? Rotation about the center. About what? About the center. What is the center, my kids? Yes, I'm, I'm looking to hear your voices. The center is negative 2 with all 0. And what is the number of degree of rotation? Good boy, is 180 degree. Okay, 180, 180 degree, my kids, okay? I will just make it clear. Okay, we continue. So, 100 and, 100 and 80 degree. Good boy. Okay, the next example. <laughs> okay, here my kids, what? We have a direction, direction. This rotation is 90 degree clockwise. This is my kids, the mean of clockwise from left, okay, to what? To right. Okay, left to right. Okay, yeah, this one, my kids, is what? Is counterclockwise or anticlockwise? Okay, this one, my kids, is from what? From right to what? To left. Okay, to left. Okay, good boy. Then, now this is the original. You see this one? This one. This triangle, let's say A, B, A, B, A, B, C, is a triangle. I will try to do what? I will try to rotate it 90 degrees about which point, my kids? About this one. This is the center. Okay? This is the center, my kids. Okay. Here, you have the center and you have the number of degree of rotation. Okay. So, you will do what? If, for example, if we like to draw the image of AB, to draw the image of AB, my kids, 
you should be careful that you should draw a right angle from the center. Means that this is a right angle, my kids. Okay, this is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. You see it? Means that AB is transformed to BA prime or to B prime A prime. Okay, through the center 90 degree. Means means should let's say may a b should be perpendicular to what to a b prime okay this is how can you do it then the next one my kids for example i want to draw the image of b c b c this one b c okay so i should do what i should also, keep the same and make 90 degree. Means that, means that, okay, AC, okay, should be perpendicular also to A dash, C dash, okay? Uh, this one, uh, B, yeah? sorry, this is B, yeah? okay, this is B, that's the moment. We should use the center of the rotation. Okay. We call that BC. BC. We use it as a vector, no problem. Is perpendicular to what? To B prime C prime. Meaning this one should be perpendicular. To this one, my kids, you can see this is 90 degree or so. Okay, then the last one AC should be perpendicular to what? BA, we did it. And okay, AC should be also perpendicular to this one. You can see this is also 90 degree. Okay, this is how to. To draw the image of a shape through a rotation after rotation about the center and the number of degree. Good boy. Now we move to reflection. What is a reflection, my kids? Yes. For example, if I have here a point A, okay, of coordinates, for example, 3, 2, okay, and this is the y axis and this is the x axis. I want to rotate this. This is the mirror line. I will make the, uh, the uh, y axis. I will color green. Green is mirror line. Mirror line, for example. So, you will draw the image of this point in the reflection, okay, in the mirror line. So, you should keep the same distance. Okay, the same distance. So this one like this. This is is two. We keep two as it is. The one, but this is uh, sorry. This is negative three. Negative three. So this one is okay. This is called what my what my what my kids is called the reflection. So the reflection. You can see that this line. Should be perpendicular. Should so like to reflect a point. You should let's say extend the line passing or starting from the point A and should be perpendicular to the y-axis. Then you should keep the same distance. Okay. If this is a prime, you can and this is for example the point M. You can see that M a prime is equal to what to M a. Okay. Then, after reflection, it's described by the line of reflection, okay? Means this one, the green one, is the line of reflection, the line of reflection. An object and its reflection image has the same one, the same shape, correct? If, for example, if the point A is like that, I cannot write its image A as, as that, for example, the big A, no. Okay, we should let's say conserve the same y coordinate, but we should make a negative sign to the x coordinates of a after that. Good, good boy. 
Then, the same size, if it is a triangle here, or a circle, or something like that, for example, a circle, they also should be a circle, okay? For example, okay? Then, the same size and opposite orientation, okay? This one is opposite to this, in the mirror line. Okay, the next one is, here we have, the uh, carry polygon with four sides, okay, it's called a trapezium, okay, so this quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, okay, is reflected in the mirror line. This is my case, the black solid line or the black bold line is called, what is called a mirror line. Okay, so you cannot let's say reflect the same if you don't have what a mirror line. And uh, other way, uh, in other in other words, you can construct the mirror line if there is no mirror line, or if there is no given the questions tell us you where where exactly the mirror. Line. Okay, the line where a mirror may be placed. This is the mirror line. It's called the line of reflection. Okay. It's called also line of a reflection. Okay. Line of a reflection. Okay. Then the distance from a point to the line, for example, this one, I will uh, choose this one. I will make the distance here. What do you think about this distance, for example? This is, should be perpendicular, of course, and this one might be. Okay. So let me just tell you this. Okay. Okay. Look. So like that, approximately. Okay, this is my kids 90 degree and this is also 90 degree. What do you think about this distance from the point B to the line? Okay, the point that is right on the line, it's a fixed point. Why? Because it lies on the line. And this one, they are the same. So reflection keeps distances. And also keeps the distance of this. If this is 2 cm, this also is 2 cm. Okay? And so on. So, then, we don't that, okay, so it's the same as the distance from the point M to the line of reflection. A reflection can be thought, or can be thought uh, as a flipping on the object over the mirror line, okay, if you'd like to flip the image, so this one will get the same. If you fold the two shapes together, line of reflection, the two shapes would overlap, exactly. They will be the same. Okay. The next one is. Now let's see. The question is here we have a diagram, we have a point A and we have a point B. And we have a mirror line. Okay, this is a mirror line. Uh, the line of reflection. This is also the line, another line of reflection. Okay. Another line of reflection. And this one another line of reflection. Okay. And this one another line of reflection. Okay. The question is what? Try to reflect this shape, the, the point A, in the x-axis. So how many units to the x-axis? One, two, three. Then I should make here my kids a line that is perpendicular to the x-axis and I will show the 90 degree. Then I will keep the same distance, three units. One, two, three. So this one, my kids, is the point A prime. A prime. What is the coordinates of A prime? Is okay. Negative four. Negative four. Negative three. Okay. And this one. What is the coordinates of A at first? Negative four. The x equal negative four. And the y is three. If you like, you can see that. If you like to reflect A in the x-axis, so the x-coordinates is the same. The x-coordinates don't change. Negative 4, negative 4. 
But look, the white dominates the C3 here, it changed to a negative 3. Okay? That is the difference when you reflect a point or a triangle in the x axis, you should keep the same x coordinates and make a negative sign in front of the y coordinates after learning the image of the first shape. Okay, now the next, this is the same like that, my kids. This is one, the coordinates of this is what? 2, 2, okay? So immediately move to what? X axis, it will reflect like that. It will be what, my kids? It will be negative 2. Yes, the coordinates is negative 2. Sorry, it's plus 2. Okay, and I reverse this one. Negative 2. And I will make it as what, my kids? As, as, as B prime. So the image of B in the X axis is with the same coordinates positive, but the Y is negative. And here, both X and Y are positive. So we just put a negative sign in the Y coordinates. Okay. Now, my kids, we move to the next one. Clear all. Okay. Now we try to reflect on B on the Y. This is 2, 2. On the y axis, I will move here how many units? 2. This is 90 degree, my kids. Okay, this is 2. This is my kids, is what? The point B prime. It has a coordinates of what? Okay, x is negative 2. And the y is the same. Look, if you reflect a shape in the y axis, the coordinates, x coordinates will change, it will be negative. But you should keep the same one, the same y coordinates. Okay. The same for a. Now the question is what? Is mm -hmm. okay. That's it. So reflect a and b through the lines and write their coordinates. Okay. The next my case. Hey, what happens to points in a reflection? What happens? Okay. Now, we have what, my kids? We have the y and the x-axis. Okay. Then, we have the y-axis. I will do this as a mirror line. Line of reflection. Line of what? Of reflection. What is the line, my kids? Y equals zero. Okay, y equals zero. This is y equals zero. This is y equals zero. So, this point, C, has the coordinates of what? C. Or I'll move to, to uh, this one first. Has the coordinates. I will erase all in order to get space. Okay. So, C has the coordinates of two. Okay, two. What else? And negative 4. Okay? Then B, my kids, has the coordinates of 5 and negative 4. Okay. Then A. A is what? A has the coordinates of, yes, of 2, negative 4. Okay. This is the coordinates of A. Name the points of the original triangle. So A, A, okay, then B, then C. Okay, we are then its coordinates. Okay, name the points of the re reflected triangles. We have A prime, B prime, C prime. What is the line of reflection? Y equal what, my kids? Y equal to zero. Okay. How did the points change from the original to the reflection? They keep the same size, same shape, same orientation, same. Yes? Of course, yes. For example, BC, B prime, C prime is how many units? One, two, three. Three centimeters. And BC also 1, 2, 3 equal, also equal, yeah, means BC equal B prime C prime. 
Then AC my kids. AC equal A prime C prime equal equal one centimeter. Look, AC one centimeter and A prime C prime one centimeter. So this side is equal to this and this one is equal to this one. And what about the hypotenuse? A A yes A prime B prime is it equal to A B? Of course yes. Okay, you can use the theorem. This is three centimeters. This is one. So, a b a prime b prime equal the square root of what? Of one square plus three square. One square. So one square plus three square equal the square root of ten. Okay, approximately three point something. Okay, and also a b the same in the square root of ten. So the square root of ten equal the square root of ten. So reflection keep the same shape, same size, same distance. Okay. Now move to dilatation. Means what dilatation? Means enlargement. Or enlargement means that you will enlarge. You will uh, let's say try to transform shape A to shape B. But you will enlarge A to B. Okay? So enlargement. Okay. Enlargement. So we have for seven enlargement. Okay. We start enlargement. The same meaning like this. Enlargement on large shape. The addition is to make it flat with more more small. So it's a transformation that produces produces an image that has what the same what the same shape. Okay, same orientation, my kids. Okay, and different size, of course. So the uh, dilatation or uh, enlargement can only keep the same shape, keep the same orientation, but different size. And you should at least know about the center of the dilatation or of the uh, enlargement. Then we have the scale factor. So we need three things. What? Center. We need the center of enlargement or of, of enlargement. Enlargement. Or dilatation. Or dilatation. Dilatation. Okay, my kids. Then we need what to find the scale. The scale factor. Meaning that the, the new shape you will make it bigger or we will make it small. You should know about the scale factor and the center of rotation. Okay, this is my kids. What this is the point A. Of course, the next negative three, negative three two. Okay, this is x y. This is the y. This is called the center. The center of what? The center of the large the center. Okay. Then, they see the line segment BC. They see the first origin, the original chain. I will try to enlarge, to make it larger, to make it bigger than the first. So, I should what? I should have, what? Yes, I should have, know about the scale factor. Okay, look, here how many units, my kids? Two units, you see? The magnitude of the vector, we see is two, two units. Okay, and the magnitude of the is, is four units. Okay, so the scale factor is what? Is four divided by two is two. Means that I will enlarge the same, the, the line segment two times. I mean the length of BC should be equal to uh, the length of uh, the line segment DE should be two times times BC. Okay, clear all. Okay, let's see. First of all, I will extend this line, my kids. I will join the center to the point C and point and point E. Then also the same like that. Okay. 
For example, this is my case from the center. This is one centimeter, one, and from here to the last one is two centimeter. Means two divided by one, the same as that. This is one centimeter, one centimeter, and this one from okay, I mean, from this one to this one, my kids, is two centimeters. Okay, so two divided by one equals one. Okay, this is the first method. Second method, here. Are. Okay, now I will, as we call that, move, we make like that. So this is four, this is two. I will make DE divided by BC equal what? Equal four divided by two times two. So square factor, square factor is what my kids is two. And the center you already know about it. Okay. The next one. Okay. The next one, my kids. We have described fully this transformation. This is what? This is, yes, this is an enlargement. 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 So we need what? Means that you will enlarge the triangle ABC in a new end. You, you, you need what? Scale factor and center. We will try to find the center and scale, scale factor. Okay. Center is what? And scale factor is what? For example, my kids, I let's start. I will draw a line like that. Okay. So, on this one, on this one. I let's say join B to B prime. Then I should join also what? C to C prime. You see, this is the point. The center is what? The C is my kids in the center. Is zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. Now, you will find the scan factor. You can see that BC is one half B prime C prime. So, means what? Look, this is a right angle. Okay. Look at this. Okay. So, we thought that. Uh, okay. B, B prime, C prime divided by BC equal, equal 2. Okay. Mean the scale factor is 2. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Okay. What else you want to know? And if you want to extend also this line here, you will, you will coincide with the center of the the enlargement. Okay. And a a prime c prime equal two times what a c. Okay, we can write here. Okay, the center is zero zero. Okay. So we can write here my kids. Okay, I will erase, uh, erase this one. Okay. Okay. Then we can do the next. Here, yeah, what? Describe fully the transformation. So we can see that this is enlargement. This is enlargement. This is the center. The center is what? Is okay. So the center is negative 3. Okay. Negative 3 and 2 as y, y coordinates. Center is what? Is negative, negative three and and two. 
Okay. And what do you think about the length of one of H I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is six centimeters, of course. And this one, one, two, this is two centimeters. To find the scale factor, make six divided by by two. Okay? So scale factor is what my kids is is six divided by two gives three. Okay. The next here we did it. Thank you for listening. Again, Mr. Mother dear, thank you for that. I love you so much. Please try to try to uh, repeat the lecture and uh, do let's say the exercise that is that will be given inshallah. And thank you. See you tomorrow or next Sunday.